Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at upgrading your site from legacy templates to Avada layouts. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. Avada layouts was a monumental step forward in the development of Avada, bringing with it as it does an unforeseen level of flexibility when it comes to the overall layout of your site content. Using a range of templates, layouts, combined with the use of our great range of both layout and design elements. See the Avada Layouts playlist for a large range of videos exploring what you can do with Avada Layouts. But for this video, we're going to concentrate on what it actually is you are replacing by using Avada Layouts. If we consider an Avada website which is not using Avada Layouts, it's worth pointing out the areas which, while fully functional, are where using Avada Layouts would give you enormous flexibility over. This includes single blog posts and any other custom post types that don't have special handling as well, single portfolio posts, products, single events, FAQs, archives, all Woo pages, search results, 404 pages, and the header, footer, and the page title bar. All the template parts mentioned, besides header, footer, and page title bar, are more or less what you would consider the content layout sections in layouts. So when you are not using layouts, basically your whole site will be served using pre-curated templates, but these are obviously both static and limited. Obviously any post page or section of a site, such as a header, needs to have some sort of layout and structure when they display. If you don't do anything yourself, Avada will embed your content into, structurally speaking, a static template. This is not only true for things like single posts, where the post content will be displayed in context with the title, featured image, sharing box, related posts, etc. But also for your site as a whole, where your posts and pages will be embedded into a structure of header, footer, and page title bar, etc. Within the Avada global and page options, you can make a large number of changes to these static templates. For example, choosing from the predefined header layouts, turning off the sharing box, layout options for the product design on the shop page, but the overall layout of templates, and for the most part the order of single parts within them, stay fixed and unchangeable. Layouts, though, allow you to have any order of areas and content in your site structuring that you want. You can move around all parts freely. So not only can you change the order of areas, like exchanging where the sharing box and related posts appear, but you can have a fully free layout, omitting them at will, or using other content instead. You can, for example, create or import headers that go way beyond the fixed header styles from the global options, giving you total freedom of design. And even within a single part, you can completely move around the order of elements and how and if they are displayed. The difference between a site not using layouts and one taking advantage of them is like comparing a mass-manufactured cupboard to a custom-designed handcrafted one. They both hold items, but the second one will do it in exactly the way you want. Avada Layouts is one of those features that simply must not be missed. If you're not using them yet, do yourself a favour and explore this most flexible of Avada's features. Ok, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.